today, Ruth, <laughs> Ruth with the ring bowls. Um, yes, we do have blanks for those and we will put that on the Facebook Live lineup. I believe we have it um, in September sometime. Well, I'm so glad that you guys are telling me what you received. <laughs> but we have new SIY kits. So SIY kits are fantastic. I know some of you, um, if you are new to Impress Art, those are kind of our stamp and go line. Super easy, kitted all your pieces together. So it takes the guesswork of having to pick a chain, pick jump rings, um, pick different blanks. So definitely check those out. Um, we have a lot of new ones. So today we're sneak peeking two of them. And then on Thursday, I'll be sneak peeking another two. Um, hi, Brandy. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's raining hard in New Jersey. So that's what we're doing today. We're going, I'm going to sneak peek two of the new kits that I happen to really love. Um, these were definitely created with the beginner stamper, advanced, or the maker in mind. Um, yes, Michelle. SIY is stamp it yourself. How great is that? It's like DIY, do it yourself, stamp, stamp it yourself. So you guys could be the first to shop the new kits. They're going to be on the website at impressart.com. All right. And I just want to let you guys know that for the week of August and until we're settled here at work and back in school, because we don't kind of don't know what we're doing right now um, on Long Island, we're going to come to you on Tuesdays and Thursdays at one o'clock. All right. Um, no more Wednesdays for the month of August. So I will definitely miss you guys, but it gives me more time to create and share ideas with you guys. All right, but we will definitely be here on Tuesday and Thursdays at one o'clock. So Terry's waiting on two orders. Okay, so I, you love the new kits? Well, I'm glad, I'm sorry that I can't um, pop in pictures here, but you could definitely take uh, click on that link that Jen had post, has posted in your comments and Allie and take a look at them. So today we're going to be doing a washer bracelet. Okay, so this washer bracelet comes completely put together. I'm gonna to show you how you can lean it off the block. Um, you could use a sticker guide with this bracelet. If you already have sticker, uh, sticker guides, you don't have to use a sticker guide if you're using a bigger font. Today, we're gonna to utilize Stargazer. I'm gonna show you how you could stamp on these using the sticker guide, using a smaller font. And also, we have a charm bracelet. So those are the two projects we're gonna be walking through and doing together today. Um, the charm bracelet is stainless steel. The blanks are aluminum, as well as um, the, the split rings are also stainless steel. So these are great gifts, guys, especially during the season when you're either making stuff for someone or you're sharing your love of metal stamping with someone else. These kits are fantastic you will be the best gift giver, whether you're sent, where you're giving, you're gifting a hand stamped item, or you are sharing your love of metal stamping with the people that you love, okay? So I am gonna turn you guys around and we're gonna start with our first project, all right? So the SIY kits, are live, you guys can shop them now. I'm just gonna put this right in here. It's okay, Karen, you're not late. You're not late. I'll just get you nice and set up. We're just about to begin. Welcome, Dave. Oop, there we go. Okay, so the first one that I'm gonna show you guys is the washer bracelet and again I'm gonna apologize it's getting pretty nasty out there by me so hi Hillary so and part of my fingers I was using glue before this morning so I have remnants 
So right here, your washer is aluminum, okay? And it already comes put together. So you don't have to worry about, hi Kim, you don't have to worry about doing your Lark's head knots on the sides, getting your, um, your knot at the bottom, your slip knot. You don't have to worry about that. It's on a really nice waxed silk cord, okay? And it holds up really, really, really well. Yes, Francesca, nice and simple, nice and clean. Unisex, guys, I would definitely, my husband wears one of these, um, and so do my brother-in-laws, okay? And the washer on this is aluminum. Thank you, Tiffany. Hi, Ginny. All right, so when you're stamping with these, what you're gonna do is you're going to move your cord up at the top, all right? And now for those who have the smaller block, um, all you're gonna do is hang your cords off of that block. Hi, Terry. All right, so I'm gonna show you. It's not nylon, it's wax silk. All right, let's get some sticker guides. We're gonna do a name, we'll get some, let's see. A piece of stamp tape, cause I'll show you how I do this. Yes, Rebecca, and it's perfect guys. Like I said, it takes, remember I, I talk to you guys all the time about working smarter, not harder. This assembled together brings it to a whole nother level, okay? So I'm just gonna take my stamp tape. And I'm gonna place it on the block, okay? Now remember guys, you could stamp through this, all right? And then I'm gonna take out of my sticker guides book, okay? I am going to take my small sticker guide out. And I'm going to place my sticker guide right below my hole. Okay? Just like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna choose my word. Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a name. I really like names on these. So I'm gonna actually stamp this one for myself. And I am going to put, let's see. Um, I'm going to do Sammy on it. So here's my S, my A, my M, and my I. Yes, Kathy, so many possibilities for these. All right, and I'm going to come in. Actually, I took the wrong set. Let me grab the right one. Yeah, no, Jules, Julie, you could definitely um, stamp through that tape. Definitely stamp through it. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit so it's easier for me to see. I know that. Um, is that good, guys? Could you see that on top of your comments? So I am going to take my first letter. So I'm using a signature set. This is Stargazer, okay? It is a two millimeter font. It's nice and small, okay? I mean, you could use up to four millimeters, even a six millimeter on this if you wanna use a deco, all right? But today we're gonna use a two millimeter font. And I'm just going to twist my block a little bit so I'm able to see. And as long as you're stamping and that impress art is facing you, you know you're stamping in the right direction. Um, I know we have a lot of newbies here today all right, so I just wanna go over. So just make sure that when you're stamping with our sets, that that impress art is facing you. It's an indicator, so when you get to the 
end of your um, word, you're not upside down or backwards. All right, so you're gonna come in. And when I'm working around a curb, I really like to turn my block. And I like to place my stamp down and lightly bring that up. And you're gonna see that I'm lining up my stamp to where my S is on my sticker. Okay, then I'm gonna take my hammer and give it a nice hit. And there is my first letter. Guys, turn your block. Don't, don't be afraid to turn your block. I'm gonna continue with my A, flat. I'm gonna drag it up to that sticker and that sticker acts as a ledge, okay? So once I feel that, I, that my stamp is hitting that sticker, I know it's good for me to pick up my hammer. Michelle, you can use masking tape. And then I'm gonna do my eye. So I'm coming in, placing it flat. I'm dragging that up, making sure that I'm right where I want to be, little tap. And really guys, that's all that it is. The signature set, um, the signature set sets are really sharp. Okay, so you don't have to um, hit them very hard with your hammer. And look how nice that comes out guys. Yep, Marilyn, so this is aluminum, it's a soft metal. So you definitely don't want to over hit it. Then I'm gonna come in with my stamp enamel, okay? And a dry household paper towel. I'm going to take my enamel marker and just fill in the impressions that I stamped. Take my paper towel. Now guys, you don't have to put anything on that. This is dry, it's a dry household paper towel. You're going to dab it, okay? And then lightly wipe away. And here is your bracelet. But like I said, guys, this is a two millimeter font. This is a stargazer, okay? It's a signature set. You can go up to your three. Now, if you don't have sticker guides, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna hang your cord off, all right? I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna show you how you could use a bigger font with these as well if you don't have signature. Again, I'm going to the end of my block. I'm hanging my cords off, okay? And I'm going to, um, I place my sticker right, let me show you, Maureen. How are you, sweetheart? So I'm gonna take my sticker, let me put this up a little bit. And with that two millimeter font, I'm gonna cover my hole. Do you see that? My hole is like right here. My opening is right at that blue in a circle. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use a bigger font. So let's pull out 
We will pull out a Bridget, because a lot of you I know have Bridget. That's right, Francesca, it's foolproof. So I am going to do Sammy again, but with the three millimeter font, okay? So I'm gonna bring it down, I'm gonna lightly drag it, give it a nice tap, because remember, aluminum is soft. Yep, Maureen, just cover that hole. And I'm still using my lines. And here is my other Sammy. So you can see guys, those sticker guides really help. I'm gonna take my enamel marker, fill that in. And dab it. And lightly wipe. Now, if you're having an issue with the enamel, not staying in your impressions, okay? I'm using the same enamel markers you guys have. There's one of two reasons. You're not dabbing and you're wiping too heavy. Your paper towel is wet. Well, three reasons. Or your impressions aren't deep enough, okay? Guys, remember, with your impressions, that enamel is formulated to stay in those impressions. So they need to be somewhat on the deep side. If they are not deep impressions, your enamel has nowhere to sit. All right. And you can make it as dark as you want. I'm just gonna apply a second coat because I just like how it jumps off that metal all right so now you have it guys that's your two millimeter font there is your three millimeter bridgette and your two millimeter stargazer all right so this is one and i love it guys all you have to do with this is give it a little tug okay um and then you're gonna pull it. All right. Julie, just message us and we'll walk you through it, okay? So three millimeter, two millimeter and three millimeter. And those stickers are great because you'll be able to stamp right around evenly. Um, I know without the stickers, you know, um, another way you could do it is you can have your letters sit around the bottom. So I'll show you if you are not keen on the stickers um, and you're just beginning to stamp. You know, you could line your, I'm just gonna grab my stamp tape. Tape that down. Now what you could do is, and I'm just gonna use, um, for this one, I'm just gonna use some design stamps. Actually, we'll do a name. We'll do a name. If you don't have the stickers and you're having problems or um, you want a guide for it, what you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna follow the curvature of the bottom of your shank, and you're gonna line that up to your blank, okay? And it's gonna sit right on the outskirts of that blank. I definitely suggest getting the sticker guides, but that's another way 
that you could stamp on these, okay? If you want it perfectly and around the outskirts of it. So Sandy asked if she could use a permanent marker. So the thing, Sandy, is, whoop, we have flickering lights here. Oh, wow, it's like a monsoon out there. Um, <laughs> fingers crossed, guys. So I think we could continue even if the lights go out. What do you think? I think we could do it. We could definitely do it. So with the stamp enamel, it's formulated for metal. Other markers that, you know, you think could stay in there like the sharpie marker will come out with alcohol based anything um antibacterial um perfume anything like that will take that enamel right out hi roseanne yeah it's it and i know it hit new york uh, manhattan brooklyn over there where you guys are first yeah it's a little it's a little messy but we're gonna <laughs> uh oh no you have Jen has flickering lights in the office, too. All right. Rita, did you stamp on the line or between? So it depends. So, guys, let's go into the sticker guides just a little bit. But let me go back. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, well, Shelly, congratulations. 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 That's great news. Okay, so before I go into sticker guides, let me just go back to my enamel, okay? It's formulated to stay inside your impression, the stamp enamel. So yes, you could use other markers, but I can't guarantee that it's going to stay black. And especially if you're reselling an item or you're giving an item to a friend, you definitely don't want that ink that's in your impressions to dry up, crack, and fall out. All right. So what you're going to do with this, oh, Kathy, you have the remnants of your hurricane. Mama goats and the kids. That's fantastic. Yes, Sharon. So mine actually stays in the impression. So my little secret for um, people who aren't really beginners, because I can't really go into tumbling today because I kind of want to go through this with you guys um, before the power goes out because I think that's where we're heading here. Um, I enamel my pieces and then I throw them into my tumbler. That's how good this enamel is. That's how good this formula is in this marker um, that it could withstand the tumbling of steel shot and the soap that I put in my tumbler. All right. So definitely... Um, Definitely get the enamel, all right? So with your sticker guides now. Now you noticed when we did, okay, when we did the two millimeter, I spaced them out in between each hash mark. With the three, Hi, Nancy. Okay. With the three, I know that my Bridget is a little thicker. Okay. So although I try to go in between with my Bridget, it's really learning by doing with these. All right. So I line it up. I know that my A is wider at the bottom. So I leave a little bit more room. Same thing with my M. My M can't go in between my hash marks because it's a very wide M, all right? But for the most part, my S, my I, my A a little bit goes over. So it's basically you have to learn, um, you definitely have to learn your stamps, all right? Because then you'll learn how to turn it if you, you know, like it a certain way. I tell the story that um, I have a melody set and the way I use my A is different from um, the way everybody else uses their A. I, I turn mine a little bit just for my liking. Um, so people say, oh, that A doesn't look like my A, but it is your A. I just learned my set. Well, thanks, Ruth. Hi, Deborah. 
So Sandy, really quick, I'll just go into tumbling. So tumbling is a process that debores and shines your metal. Okay, it's a tumbler. It's filled with, um, you could fill it with different kinds of shot. I use for my metals, I use stainless steel. Um, but that, you know, if you're just a beginner, that comes later on in the game. Um, Joanne, I usually let it dry for a few seconds and then, you know, a few minutes by the time I, you know, I, I don't put one piece at a time in my tumbler. I, I accumulate them. So they're dry for a while. All right. Okay. So like I said, these are fantastic stamp and go pieces. All right. All right, so we are going to move on to the second kit. Rita. I stamped Rita. So you can't, I'm not using the guide with Rita. I use the edges. The edges. I'll do it on the next one, okay? Hi, Diane. So the next project we have is a really great one too, okay? So this one comes with a stainless steel bracelet. No sandy, no tumblers. All right, we have a buffing block. We have buffing blocks. All right. So this stainless steel bracelet, okay, comes with, three half round split rings. Okay, so it's easy for you to get them on. Yes, I probably didn't. Yes, Rita is in Bridgette. <laughs> All right. So these come in that kit. And it comes again, comes with a heart, a swirly heart. It comes with a drop and it comes with a square. All right. And the kit comes with everything you need to make your bracelet. All right. So we're going to take these off the block. And I'm going to show you how to um, stamp with or without guides. So if everybody's question is stamp Rita with out the guides and follow your curvature of your blank. Just gonna place that right on top and I'll come back in with Rita. So again, I'm going to make sure that the end, the edge of my shank, that curvature is lined up with the edge of my metal. Okay. I'm gonna give it a little hit. Then I'm gonna come in, lining up the edge of my metal to the edge of my stamp. Hi, Noelle. Um, these come in a pack of one. Um, yes. So it's one in a kit, <clears throat> but there is an option, um, if you are making multiple to buy a 24 pack. All right. So here is Rita around the bottom of that disc. Now, guys, you could always, you could even add your, you could even add a crystal to this. I'm going to enamel it. I'll let it dry. 
Um, Michelle, what do I suggest practicing on? So we have bracelet blanks, guys. All right. Now, this is a 5 eighths bracelet blank, but we do have inch and a quarter bracelet blanks. I do suggest using these to stamp, to practice stamping on, because you could stamp on the front and the back of these. And the inch and a half, although I don't have any with me here, um, they're nice and thick. So I would definitely pick those up. All right. Jen, if you could um, drop that link uh, for the larger bracelet blanks. I don't know if I even have any. I'm trying to see. I don't have any to show you here, but I'm sure Jen um, wouldn't mind um, putting the link there for you guys. Michelle, I would definitely practice in your aluminum, not the alchemy. All right. So again, you're going to dab it. Lightly wipe. Uh, now, let's troubleshoot this. I know that I explained to you guys on Thursday, um, if you leave your enamel on a little too long, how you could take it off. And I matted, okay, I matted my disc. I'm just going to cover again. And I'm going to come in and whoop, make a mess and lightly wipe it off, okay? So now guys, when you mat it with your block, and I mat a lot of my metal that I work with you guys because if it's too shiny sometimes and it is a little overcast, I get a real wicked kickback in my metal, all right? If you're using your matte block because you like that matte finish and you're getting a little bit of your enamel stain, just take your buffing block, okay? And rub it right over it and that will all come out and it will shine that right up for you. And the floor has it now. Let's see, and I don't know where it went. Let's see if I could find that. Let's see if I could find it. All right. Let's see. I know it's here somewhere. Hold on, guys. Hang on. Ah, the joys of of. Losing something that you just stamped. Let's see if I could find it. It's here. All right, there we go. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to run your buffing block over it to take that off. <laughs> All your stuff goes to the ground, Terry. Ugh. So here is my drop around the bottom. Lori, um, what you're going to, oop, there go the lights again. Did your lights, did your, did, no, nothing went out so far? It flickered? Of course my daughter only looks up from her, her device when the lights flicker. So let me grab a buffing block so I could show you. Right, Noelle, I'm always listen, I'm always crawling on the floor picking up jump rings. Last night around 12 o'clock, I spilled my container that everybody always has crystal envy. I spilled, remember how full this was? I spilled the entire container all over the place. And it was late. It was very late last night. And I picked them all up. And I have to put them in. So to mat these, to mat them, guys, you're gonna use your medium side, all right? And let me pull, where is my Rita? Where did she go? Okay. So, hi, Chris. <laughs> right, Pamela? All over, they were all over. So I like to make it matte. So I take my medium side and I just run it against it. 
all right? And it mats that block. So let's see if I have something shiny here to show you guys. So here's something shiny, all right? And like I said, it's very overcast here today, but um, I'm taking my medium and I'm running it over, okay? So you're gonna use a medium grit to mat your surface. Does everybody see that? Shiny opposed to matte. It is part of the process, Noel. It is definitely part of the process. So remember guys, there is matte, there's medium and there is coarse. Coarse is only for your edges if they're sharp. Do not take your coarse to the front of your blanks. It will chew them up. All right. And then, then you could take your buffing block too. And it gives a little bit, it still has that nickel matte finish, but it shines it up a little bit. All right. Okay. So let's continue. Now we're going to work with the, can we have a session about dog tags? Francesca, we actually did dog tags. If you take a look in the video section on the Facebook page, it will show you, okay? Um, It will show you, it, it says dog tags, it says pet tags. All right, and you could watch, definitely watch that video. All right, okay, Pamela, nice, but you need to prep before stamping. Um, You can do before or after, I like to do before, okay? Um, you want to knock down the edges. If they're too sharp, you want to use the same block, but you want to use the coarse side. All right. Let me pull a straight sticker guide out for you guys. Lose a straight sticker guide. Let's see. These are straight. Let's see if I have any straight. Oh no, yeah, Megan, don't use the course on top because you'll get a mess. You'll have a mess, you'll have a mess. All right, so I'm gonna take my smaller sticker guides, all right? And I'm going to line my orange middle line Okay, that's my center line up. I'm not going to put my sticker down, but I'm just going to line it up in the center of that hole up top, and then I'm going to bring it down. All right. Oh, um, Lori, if you wait until the end, I'll show you how you can texture your edges. All right, so here I'm gonna do, let's see, um, I'll work in, I'll mix fonts, so I'll work in Stargazer, and I will do, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, let's do, Let's do, hmm, so bad with this. Let's do Megan, M-E-G-H-A-N. All right. All right, so here we have it. We're gonna start with my M and I am going to make sure that my impress art's facing me bring it down flat, lightly drag it, and I'm gonna make sure, let me push this up so you guys could see over the comments. Um, place it down, lightly drag it, and you'll see that my M is sitting in between my black and my orange hash marks. And I'm gonna take my hammer, give it a nice tap. Then I'm gonna move on to my E in between my orange and my black, lined up with the letter on my sticker guide. Here's the 
here is my G. And my H. And I'm dropping things left and right today. Well, thank you, Megan. Oh, send them to us. We would love to see them. Yes, definitely send them. You could send them um, through Facebook Messenger. We love to take a look at those. And I'm glad that you're enjoying the lives. Joanne lost electricity. Oh, no. So I'm just trying to not speed this up, guys, but just... So there's my Megan. And yes, that's a way to spell Megan. I just got an order last night with that name. So it was fresh in my head with that spelling. So again, I'm going to run my enamel over it. Take my paper towel and lightly wipe. Lightly wipe. All right. And again, I have a little bit of shadowing from my enamel marker. Just gonna, oop. Just gonna place it over. Now, another little tip and trick, guys. If you want it more patinaed, all right, you could definitely color in your entire blank, and it gives it a really nice vintage feel, okay? Because your enamel kind of leaves it a brushed antique look, okay? And then you could take your buffing block and just go right over it. That's great, Anne. I can't wait to see what you're gonna make. So you see that gives it a little bit, a little something, something. So I'm going to place that down. Then we're going to use our heart. And now with the Whimsy Heart, you can go in the middle. But the greatest thing about these sticker guides is that you don't have to stay to the middle of your bracelet. All right. You can pretty much move that sticker guide anywhere you want. So with this... I like to stamp on an angle, all right? So I'm gonna take that, place my sticker guide right there, and I'm gonna go with, let's say, I'm gonna go with, hmm, let's go with Susie. I'm gonna go with my S, my U, my Z and my Y. All right, and I'm gonna do that in my Bridgette. All right, so I'm gonna take my S, bring that down, drag it, feel that restriction in that sticker, and just give it a nice tap. Remember, even if you're using your basic Bridgette, you're working on aluminum, so you're not gonna have to be too aggressive with it, guys. Yes, Hillary, I agree. I like doing that too. I'm not a very shiny, <laughs> I'm not a shiny person. I don't like um, shiny finishes as much as I like um, patinaed, Ooh. And we have a transformer that went. So it's just a matter of time, guys, before we lose power here. 
So, um, you can, you can form it into a ring with wire. You definitely can. So I'm gonna take Susie and I'm gonna color her in. And I'm just gonna work a little bit faster because I, I know we're beating the clock here. And there go my lights again. So now with my U, as you could see, my enamel didn't stay in there, guys. And I, like I told you, if your impression isn't deep enough, your enamel doesn't stay. So I'm going to come back in and I'm going to, like I say all the time, I'm going to place my stamp up top lightly drag that and it's going to fall right into the impression of the U that I stamped previously. Okay. And I'm just going to give it a couple of taps. And there is my deeper impression. <laughs> so let's color that in. And then I know somebody asked me about some texture. So we're going to do some texture on there. So there we go. There's my Susie. I'm gonna take my block and I'm just going to run it over to shine that up just a little bit. All right, just a little bit. And now what I'm gonna do guys is for my beginners really quick and I know that um, we are working against, <laughs> we are working against the storm today. I'm going to use my multi-function hammer, okay? So this hammer, you put different texture heads in, and I think my power is about to go out, but I'm going to do this real quick. It comes with different heads, okay? that you place right inside of your hammer, and then you're going to tighten the base, the screw at the base, okay? There we go. And what's great about this hammer, guys, it's the multifunction hammer. Comes with different heads, it comes with the ball peen head, it comes with the chasing head, it comes with a nylon head, um, it comes with a sprinkle design stamp, and it takes the guesswork. You don't have to have like numerous hammers in your studio. Um, you could have this with different texture heads and then you would have your metal stamping hammer. All right. So what I'm going to do is place my finger where I feel secure on my block or you can tape it down and I'm going to hit the edges of my blank and I'm gonna just texture them a little bit. So this is a way of distressing your ends and something as simple as that gives your blanks a completely different look. Do we see that? Do we like that? So that is the worn look See, Michelle, how cool is that? Right, Pamela? It just, it gives it a completely different look. All right. All right. Just texturing the ends really adds so much to it. All right. And then, you know, I know some of you got a dapping block today. You could actually dap these as well. So it could be very simple or, you know, if you're more of it, uh, advanced or intermediate, you can use, you know, different applications for these guys, all right? You could even take your square disc, put it right into your cavity. Whoop. Wow, <laughs> just dropping everything today. This one's right here, so we don't have to go fishing for it. No fishing for it. 
Put your dap right in the center. I'm gonna pull this back, so. And I know we're covering a lot today, but I know we have a lot of newbies. Okay, so you're gonna place your dap in the center. Take your hammer, and you're gonna hit it a few times. And this too gives your blank a whole different look. What do we think, guys? How nice is that? Gives it a really nice concave shape. Doesn't mar it, keeps it nice and matted. There we go, right, Pamela? Brings it, so here you go, guys. Like I said, you could go from the beginner, you know, and then through. This is not, you know, a stamp and go. When we think stamp and go, oh, it's, you know, it's not beginner, guys. Put your spin on that. Pitch, you put your spin on it. So now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to attach them. So in these kits are half round split rings. Now, if you're new to jewelry making, you can use jump rings, but with this kit, um, we just wanted to take, you know, what, what if you don't have, if you're new with this, you don't have your pliers, all right? You don't have two pairs of pliers, all right? What you're going to do is you're going to use split rings. Now, what's great about these split rings is that they're not coiled all the way around. So if any one of jewelry makers here know that, you know, the, the, the continuous coil is a little bit of a nuisance, Okay. So you are going to take your blank, just like a key ring, put it right in there, turn it, and bring it around. Like I said, it's not a lot of metal to bring around because it's a half turn. All right. And then we're going to do the same here. We're going to take that opening of that split ring and we're just going to feed it right through. And we're going to put that right on there. Okay, guys, if you're having problems with the tool, it's easy to send a direct message. Um, and photo or videotape the technique that you're using really quick. So it's easier for myself or Jen to um, help you guys. All right. Again, I'm going to take my split ring. I'm going to open it just by putting it just like a key. I'm going to twist it around. All right, so I have it on there. Then I'm gonna come back. Oop. There we go. And there's another. Yeah, so these are great gifts. These are great gifts. You could put the kids' names on it. Um, you know, before, you know, there's a mom to be. You don't have to put a name on it. You could do, you know, like do in or it's a girl. These are great. You know, and even with the kids going back to school, these are great little projects that, you know, you could, you know, give them to remember that they're, <laughs> you're thinking of them through the day. Um, but you're happy that they're back in school. I can't wait for my 11-year-old to be back in school. So you're going to take your... There we go. And just slide it right on. You know, and the other good thing about these, jump, these split rings, guys, is that they're really hard to come off. You know, sometimes um, jump rings open... These are really on there. They're really on there. 
I know, Shelly, that it keeps buffering. Yes, these are, Maureen, these are expandable, okay? So they go from, you could do six to eight, all right? And then you guys, you know, if you feel, you could add your crystals to these. How great are they? Little dapping action, little texture. All right. I know it's buffering, Shelly, I'm sorry. Um, the weather's really kind of bad here. <laughs> so I'm glad we made it as far as we did today. I'm gonna turn you guys around. Well, thank you. I don't know if I could even show you like how, like, that's pretty bad. That, that tree's kind of really rocking and rolling here. So, yes, yeah, so you could definitely um, hang some beads from here. Uh, beads, you can do charms you can pretty much add anything to that bracelet. But like I said, guys, these are set SIY, they're stamp it yourself. Um, on Thursday, I'm gonna come back and show you a couple of more. Um, I will be in the office on Thursday, so I will definitely bring Jen and Allie in to say hello or anybody else who wants to join me. Um, and I will walk you through three more of the projects. Um, you know, I think what we're gonna do on Thursday, we're gonna do the cufflinks, um, and we'll do a bezel necklace, and then the guitar pick. So those are going to be my picks for Thursday. So remember, we're not coming to you tomorrow, but we are coming to you thir on Thursday at one o'clock. So I hope you join us, and unfortunately, I cannot see the comments under the screen anymore. So I am going to, I think it's gonna take my my cue and go. But thank you so much for joining us today and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little. And remember, if there's an issue that you're having with um, a product or a technique that you're having a little bit of trouble with, definitely send us a direct message with a you know quick video of how you were using that tool and Jen and I will do our best to get back to you guys and troubleshoot along with you. So thank you so much for joining us today. Stay safe, stay dry. Um, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Thanks so much.